What's going on guys? It's me, Game of Luigi. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, um, the Triple Elixir Challenge was today was released or started today, whatever you want to call it. And well, many people have been testing multiple decks, but I guess this is the most meta deck. And it actually managed me to get to 10 wins. Unfortunately, I didn't get to the max wins because the max wins prize, if I could click it, can't see shit. There we go. Uh, 48,000 gold. Sadly, I'm gonna miss that out because I'm 100% confident. Then to retry is you need 100 gems, and I don't have 100 gems. But before we open the chest, though, uh, this is the deck I was using, and everyone in my clan was using it. Like this deck. It's so expensive, but even though it's that expensive, it's triple elixir, so most of the time. You will never have any uh, elixir downsides because you produce elixir so fast. So, pretty much expensive decks are good, but I wouldn't recommend the Three Musketeers deck that others has been using because most of the people run Lightning Spell, and you really cycle really fast to the Lightning Spell in some of these decks. So, I would recommend Three Musketeers because they will be lining down. And since I'm generous, and hopefully it looks good, I'm going to show you guys this replay in which I owned this person before I reached 10 wins. So this person was running a Night Witch deck, which I'm surprised he reached this far with the Night Witch deck. Because that deck is so good, but in Triple Elixir, it's not a good idea if you go against a P.E.K.K.A user, like I did right now. Because P.E.K.K.A's obliterates Golem so hard. So, I went with a normal bad ram pickup push with the graveyard. It worked. I managed to do some damage over there, even to take the tower down. Then, look at that, my P.E.K.K.A destroyed it. But he has a Q counter push on this side. So, I tried to defend because I had my P.E.K.K.A over there. So, I decided to defend that perfectly. And then counter push the other side. Sadly, had a poison spell. If it wasn't for that poison spell, that tower would have gone down. Because of the graveyard. And then... Here you come, I defend with the P.E.K.K.A and the Lightning Spell. The Lightning Spell is so good, like the Rocket. The Rocket's not worth doing it because it seriously takes so time to reach. And the area range is so small. Oh well, yeah, look at this. That counter push is so hard. I let him grab my tower. So right now I'm, I'm going all in, Graveyard, Battle Ram. I screw that Golem over on the top and I literally just obliterate him with the Graveyard push over there on the top. So yeah. This deck is pretty fun, and the challenge is pretty fun, like, going elixir so fast. And, why not just open this? We're gonna get 7,000, 100 gold, and 335 cards. We get 2 guaranteed epics, and and three, and 33 rares. Let's open this bad boy. Hopefully for a legendary, if we're that lucky enough. Yeah, I managed to get to 100,000, 100, uh, 10... A card, I cannot even speak. A hundred and ten thousand gold. Um, five Mega Minions, 55 Saps, 5 Wizards, 66 Bats, awesome. 69 Arrows, no, no Legendary, fortunately. 20 Heals, I'll take that. And 3 Dark Princes. Yeah, it's a hundred gold, screw that. I'm not gonna play that again. <laughs> well, yeah. And, by the way, quick note. Uh, that that challenge in general look I managed to get to 28 crowns and just doing a, a, a round of challenges in getting to 10 yeah if you're if you're currently doing your clan chest right now and you have uh, the challenge available to you do it and do your best because that's the best way to get crowns I mean if you have big gems like 10k let's say and you fail multiple times that challenge and really want to that max prize, keep doing it because the clan chest, it's gonna be filled ASAP because you grab crowns insanely fast in those challenges, especially if your opponent is ass and his deck is stupid. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I managed to do this video a couple minutes longer since most of you guys have been telling me that it's so short. So yeah, uh, like the video if you approve the deck you might as well 
try it out. I mean, it's good. Just that, be careful if your opponent baits you with a go uh, with a P.E.K.K.A. Because people usually scroll that fast to the Golem. So you have to manage well when you have to play your P.E.K.K.A. card in order to defend against the Golems. So yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you all for watching. And see you all to the next video. Later, everyone.